the cinematic world of Gene Rowland, top 10 films by the master of erotic horror. When it comes to the realm of erotic horror, one name stands tall amidst the gothic ruins and misty cemeteries of cinema history, Gene Rowland. This French auteur crafted a unique niche for himself with his surreal, often hauntingly beautiful films that blend sensuality with the supernatural. If you're looking to dive into the enigmatic world of Roland, here are the top 10 films that define his legacy. 1. The Iron Rose, 1973. A poetic exploration of love and death. The Iron Rose stands as Roland's most atmospheric work. This minimalistic tale of a couple lost in a labyrinthine cemetery eschews traditional horror for a meditative, almost dreamlike journey into existential dread. 2. Lips of Blood, 1975. Lips of Blood weaves a hypnotic narrative of memory and desire. With its haunting imagery of nocturnal Paris and eerie chateaus, Roland delves into themes of forgotten pasts and vampiric allure making this one of his most captivating films. 3. The Nude Vampire, 1970 A visually stunning piece, The Nude Vampire is a quintessential Roland film. Blending avant-garde aesthetics with gothic horror, it tells the story of a young man uncovering a secret society's dark experiments. The film's surreal visuals and enigmatic plot cement its place as a cult classic. Four. The Shiver of the Vampires, 1971. Rollins' flair for the bizarre is in full swing with The Shiver of the Vampires. This film combines eroticism with gothic horror in a story about newlyweds who encounter a pair of seductive vampire women. The film's psychedelic visuals and rock-infused score make it a standout. 5. Fascination, 1979. Fascination is perhaps Rollins' most accessible film. Set in a grandiose mansion, it follows a thief who becomes entangled with a group of enigmatic women. The film's mix of eroticism, violence, and supernatural intrigue showcases Rollins' unique style at its finest. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subscribing and clicking the bell. 6. Requiem for a Vampire, 1971 a tale of two runaway girls who find themselves in a vampire-infested castle. Requiem for a Vampire is a perfect example of Rollins' penchant for blending innocence with the macabre. The film's striking imagery and minimal dialogue create an eerie, otherworldly atmosphere. 7. The Living Dead Girl, 1982 In The Living Dead Girl, Roland explores the tragic story of a woman brought back to life through toxic waste. The film's melancholic tone and haunting visuals make it a poignant addition to his oeuvre, highlighting his ability to find beauty in horror. 8. The Night of the Hunted, 1980 Diverging from his usual vampire tales, The Night of the Hunted is a bleak, dystopian story of amnesia and captivity. With its minimalist sets and unsettling atmosphere, this film showcases Rollins' talent for creating psychological horror on a tight budget. 9. Two Orphan Vampires, 1997 One of Rollins' later works, Two Orphan Vampires, tells the story of blind orphan girls who become vampires at night. The film's lyrical approach to the vampire mythos and its dreamlike quality mark a return to form for the director. 10. The Grapes of Death, 1978 Mixing environmental horror with traditional zombie tropes, The Grapes of Death follows a woman who discovers a village afflicted by a deadly pesticide. Rollins' use of rural landscapes and slow-building tension make this a standout in his filmography. Gene Rollins' films are not just movies, they are experiences that transport viewers into a world where beauty and terror coexist in a delicate balance. His work may not be for everyone, but for those willing to embrace his vision, it offers a rich tapestry of gothic allure and erotic horror that is unlike anything else in cinema. In the grand tradition of Coconut Daddy, let us raise a glass to the eternal night where Gene Rollins' cinematic dreams continue to haunt and captivate us. Hong Jiu Bei Hei Xin.
who's your daddy?